Are you getting turned into stone? Find out more on conditions in D&D. Ah, petrification. While petrified wood might look great as a shelf piece, it's no laughing matter when it comes to the actual conditions. With a text length rivaled only by exhaustion, let's read what it does. A petrified creature is transformed, along with all their non-magical objects they're carrying, into an inanimate stub substance. While this is normally stone, it doesn't have to be. Its weight increases by a factor of 10 and it ceases aging. The creature is incapacitated, which means it cannot take actions or reactions. It can't speak or move and is unaware of its surroundings. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. It automatically fails all strength and dex saving throws and has resistance to all damage. Additionally, it is immune to both poison and disease. If it previously had either a poison or disease before it was petrified, those effects simply go dormant in it. They're not removed. So a lot to take in there. Interesting to note, petrification does not necessarily mean stone. While often more permanent than paralysis or stunt, it is less suited for dealing high, high damage considering they are resistant to all damage. The non-aging uh, and stone elements are more of thematic element and lore element, allowing you to incorporate paralyzed creatures into your story and have the players save them when they were frozen in stone for a thousand years or something. And, and that could be interesting very narratively, and one of the few conditions that has that narrative benefit to it. Flesh to stone, the indigo effect of both prismatic wall and prismatic spray, um, are the only ways to petrify a person through a spell. So very few ways as a player to get hold of any petrification effect. And there's only one, one way to end the petrification effect, which is greater restoration. So make sure you have your cleric handy. Asklisk, Medusa, Gorgon, Beholder, and Cockatrice. Well, only a few of them. Petrification is a very deadly effect, but fortunately, creatures like this Medusa are often heard about, and you'll know what you're going up against before you get into it. Like the paralysis effect, similarly, undead constructs and elementals are all immune to the petrification effect, as well as swarms. What's cool about this is it involves a slow but deadly end, normally requiring multiple saves to become completely encased in stone, making it a slow but painful end. It's very interesting both narratively and combatantly, having that slow death is, is very thematic and time sensitive, which makes for good storytelling and good battles as well. This is a powerful effect for both players and enemies. This is Sean from Dodeca Dungeon, signing off.